Hello guys, welcome to AI Sciences. My name is Shazeb Hamid and today we will learn how to convert an old black and white image into a colored image automatically by using Python and its libraries OpenCV, DNN and Cafe. This project takes a black and white image as its input and returns an automatically colored image as the output. To proceed with the further explanation on the coloring of black and white images using Python, we need to download three files. Colorization release version 2, colorization deploy version 2 and and pts in hull.npy it is an, an, an numpy file that stores the cluster center points in numpy format now you can download these files at, from the descriptions attached i have already downloaded it so now let's begin the step by step explanation for the conversion of black and white image into a colored image first we need to import libraries and install opencv so if you don't have opencv just uncomment this one and you will be good to go uh, after running that the next step is to import libraries so the three libraries that we are going to use is numpy matplotlib for plotting and computer vision library which is opencv and it is imported as cv2 the next thing is we need to name the image that we are using the name of the test sample black and white image is stored in a variable called image. The reason for saving the name of the test sample in a separate variable is to use the same name to save the colored image of the test sample. So here we are using the 10th image. I have a total of 10 images. I will be showing you them one by one. So now we need to put path of our cafe model, proto text and numpy file. We have already downloaded it and now we are providing path where the files cafe model prototext and dot numpy is available and the testing image is located in the same path as well so we will also provide a path for that image as well what we have done is we have merged it with the variable image merging of the specified path with the variable image we can get access to the test sample that way so now that we have our test image the next step is to loading our model we are loading our cafe model here right here the function cv2.dnn.readnet the first one accepts two parameter the number one parameter is protext path to dot proto text file and the second parameter is cafe model which is path to cafe model file in the next line we loaded the dot .nmp, npy file now that we are done with that the next step is to get the layer id from the cafe model by using the function get layer id in the line 11 and line 13 we are fetching which are these one at this one so we are fetching the layer ids of two outputs class 8 ab and convert 313 rh from the last layer of the network we are transposing our numpy file here after that and reshaping the cluster center stored in the item as one by one matrix right here so now that we have done that as you know we are using opencv to read our test image from the path next we are converting the image from bgr format to gray format and then again converting it from gray format to rgb format so this is it this is the first conversion this is the second conversion and this is the third conversion and at the end rgb image will be available after conversion process we are using matplotlib here to showcase our image and to print it so after doing this the next step is normalization we are performing the scaling operation by normalizing the image pixels between 0 and 1 then we are converting the image format from rgb to lab to learn more about lab color space 
please visit a website that has information according to that uh, it has an l channel and an a channel and a b channel as well so here we are converting it into lab format here we are resizing it according to our need and here what we are doing is we are splitting according to resize data so the next thing is we have to provide the l channel which is here as an input to our model and then predicting a and b values from the model in the next line this is being done we are resizing a and b into shape right here of our image so after that we are predicting a and b so next the l channel is extracted again right here but from the original lab image because the dimensions of all three planes l a and b should be the same then we combine let's move a little bit down then we combine the l channel with a and b by using numpy to get the lab colored image then we use matplotlib right here to show the image so this is it we have done that we have done the combination as well as showing it through matplotlib the next part is to use the lab colored image that we have uh, but it is not understandable so we need to convert the lab image into rgb format which we did in these lines below this is it we are converting it into rgb then we are using np.clip for clipping the rgb image between 0 and 1 clipping means if the inverter in, in, in interval is 0 1 then all the values smaller than 0 will be 0 and all the values larger than 1 will be 1 so next we are doing that and at the end we are saving the colored image first it is converted from rgb format to bgr format then the open cv is used to save the image to the desired path so this is it this is how we can uh, perform the colorization now let's run this and as you can see this was the black and white image and this is the colored histogram the lab image and this is the colored image that it has given us so as i told you we have 10 images so when we write one here instead of 10 it is giving us an assertion error okay so this image was not jpg it was jpg image so let's changes to jpg and let's run it again so this is it we have colorized this image as well in the same way we can colorize image 5 6 7 whichever we want if it is available so this is the colorization of this line this is it so this is how we can uh, perform colorization by using simple libraries uh, of python for more videos keep watching ai sciences Thank <laughs> you.